Hi, everyone. So in this activity, you're going to be using a tool called Tinkercad, which is created by a company called Autodesk. They are in charge of a lot of 3D tools for professional design in the engineering industry, as well as game design and all sorts of things. And this is a great tool that you can use for any of your classes to help you share ideas in 3D. Now, in order to get started, you'll need to press sign in and then just sign in with your Google account. So you choose sign in with Google. And then uh, if it asks you to sign in, uh, simply log in using your Delta Learns account. Then once it logs you in, um, it will open up a window that might look something like this. If it doesn't open this, it might actually open up the, um, it might open up a tutorial instead, uh, something like this maybe. So if it opens up a tutorial that has a whole bunch of um, strange screens and tells you things and has a little picture of a penguin or something, um, you're gonna need to get out of this and get back to the main page. So to do that, you can just click your name on the right hand side. Um, oh, no, never mind. You can just press the Tinker CAD button, which is here, sorry. And then that takes you back to the dashboard. And this is what you want to have uh, available. And then you press create new design. And this is where you can actually create your first actual design and save it to your collection. And in here, you're gonna first wanna change the name to be your name, uh, my cool new toy. And this video, it's just gonna be the first introduction. All that you should focus on right now is just getting comfortable with using the, with navigating the workspace. Before you even add any objects, just get comfortable using the tool to spin around your object. Now, if you're using a touchpad, uh, two fingers will allow you to zoom in and out, or you can press the plus button to zoom in and out and the minus or minus to zoom out. If you press um, the control key, uh, I believe that will allow you to spin uh, when you click, or it might be, uh, yeah, I think it's control click with a key with a laptop. If you use a mouse, if you have an external mouse, then you just click on the middle mouse button and you'll spin. Now, if you want to pan, you have to press shift, uh, control, and click. Shift, control, click will allow you to pan the screen to go like this and move around this way. Now, the key is to keep whatever you want to focus on in the middle, and that's the thing that, that'll allow you to basically stay focused. Now, if you ever get lost, if you ever get completely lost, like, oh, no, where am I? You can always press this home button to get back to the beginning. Now, to add your first object, just click, let's say, for a box. You press box, click. Now we can zoom in on this box and we can take a look at it. And you can combine objects together to create whatever shape you want. But first, just don't, don't rush. Take some time to just get comfortable moving around. That's my trick that I think really helps is to get comfortable moving around, using the tools uh, to, make, uh, to make objects and, and just, just get comfortable first before you start going, getting too crazy with trying to make something. And then in the next video, I will show you some other techniques for how to um, build other more advanced shapes. All right, thanks for watching.